Hey guys, Tim here. Saturday morning on the homestead. So what we're gonna do today, one of our projects, this old trailer that we bought, we're in the middle of remodeling. We finally came across some mobile home windows that we could grab for pretty cheap the other day. And we've got a few in the house that are like this, plastered up with board because they're all broken up. We've been living with this for a little while and it's just hideous. So today, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna start by replacing this window and we're gonna show you how we're gonna do it. All right, first and foremost, and I hate spiders, we gotta rehome this little guy. I don't like them. If he jumps on me, I might kill everybody in the audience trying to get away from it. But uh, they are pretty good at getting in the skin of the bugs, so. Little piece of skin. They call different shutters.
I got it. I'm just going to get above it. So the wind is out, and uh, we were able to save the bulk of the window seal. Wood on that side looks really good. Ah, had a little, a little water damage and softness in the top one, so we don't look that great at all. It's horrible, actually. Let's see if I can feel what's up above it. Good. I'll find out the inside of the windows. I'll do that later. Oh, that looks okay. We won't call it worthy and put the new window in. As soon as I clean out the bottom of this seal, the bottom part of this window, you remember from some of my earlier videos, I really completely refinished this entire wall from the inside of the house during the pre move in remodels. This is where the fireplace was that had the smokestack right out the window so everything was extremely dry so that's not water damage it's just a really dry board up there i can pull it out and replace it from the inside if need be no we're going to do a total wood wrap on this all of this is temporary because we're going to come back and redo them all but i'll go get the window and uh get it ready to set place in the meantime you can watch birds be weird All right, so one of the things you may have noticed when we were looking around the wall is this little piece of board here. That is actually the siding from the inside that I just went over the ladder, the window with, and had never cut out. So using one of my favorite little tools, um, I am not being paid by Craftsman, no way, shape, and form. I think I had to pay for this Craftsman, um, but it's money well spent. It's a battery-powered orbital. You can buy different types of saw bits. Depending on what you need, that is just a standard wide wood bit. Um, it will saw through this vanilla. I call it vanilla. It's not vanilla. This is spruce or some sort. White spruce. Looks like vanilla to me. Anyway, it'll cut through it in a minute. It is great for ripping out this stuff after the fact. You don't have to pre cut it, miter it, or anything. You just stick it over where you want and come in from the back side and just zip it right out. It's like butter in here, about provided you got a good blade. So that's gone. Uh, piece of wood on the inside was, was mounted to the inside. I stand corrected. That is actually some uh, B-board left over from earlier ceiling projects that I've just got standing up against the wall. So that'll be out of the way. So next step, we're going to come in, get the window as addressed before. We're going to set it in place. I'm going to see if I've got enough caulking to run a little bit around the top. Flashing in place. We will bolt it back in and then we will caulk the sides and put the, the little decorative shutters back in place and call this window done. <laughs> 